Thank you. I really appreciate you expediting the paperwork. You too. Have a great day. Sorry to disturb you in the middle of month end closed. No problem. What can I do for you? Well, if you have a minute, I'd like to introduce you to the lead consultant of the team that the higher-ups brought in for the next couple of months. Of course. Keith, this is our lead accountant who's fast-tracking towards partner. <laughs> Jackie. Jackie Cooper. What a lovely surprise, hey? You guys know each other? Yes, we do. Way back. High school. Well, isn't that something? Small world. Mm. As I was saying, mm -hmm. Jackie is fast tracking towards partner. We think that she should be partner within the next, I don't know, year. Within, within the year, we think we want to make her a partner. Jackie. Keith has a stellar reputation when it comes to long term development of corporate structure. With his savvy, your smarts, we're going to be able to develop a plan that'll take us to another level. I look forward to working with you, Ms. Cooper. Nelson. Mrs. Nelson. <laughs> Fantastic! Well, why don't we grab some coffee and uh, discuss strategy? Can you get away for a bit, Jackie? Actually, I have a file that I need to close out. They tightened the deadline this morning. And that is why she is our most valued accountant. <laughs> well, we'll leave you to it and connect later on. Shall we, Mr. August? Yeah, absolutely. Coffee sounds great. I'm uh, anxious to dive into the books and get started. Can I get a moment with Mrs. Nelson? Absolutely. I'm sure she'd prefer to be called Jackie since you guys are old friends. <laughs> Well, you are definitely the last person I thought I'd run into. Wow, looks like you've been doing really well for yourself. Get out of my office. Oh, what's the matter, old friend? So you still haven't learned to play nice. You better be careful. Be very careful. You can bleed in. Get out of my office now. <sighs> looks like I'm gonna have to make a note of your unwillingness to cooperate, Miss Nelson. Nelson. And that's very interesting, because I could have sworn that Walter's last name was um, Owen. I guess he finally realized that you just aren't enough. I will kill him. I will. Who does he think he is? Is he still all buffed out and huge? I mean, not that it matters. I will take him down. Yes, once a football player, always a football player. That's the Marines, Jackie. I saw him and it was like I was back in the 10th grade again. You need to tell your boss. I can't. Why not? It's my word against his. And your boss will believe you. No, he won't. He has to. The whole school didn't believe me. That never made any sense. They should have protected you. What did Marcus say? I haven't told Marcus. What? You didn't tell him that Keith showed up at your office? I never told him about Keith or what he did to me. What? Why wouldn't you tell him? I don't know. Well, say the word, okay? And I'll make him sorry he was ever born. I will, I'll hide in the back seat of his, his car and I'll, I'll choke him out. I will trip his brawny ass down the stairs. I'll flush his head in the toilet. You know what? I will, I will beat him like Solange beat Jay-Z in that elevator. You just say the word, Jack! Okay, okay. Calm down, Walter. We need to tell Marcus. I don't want to. You did nothing wrong. I feel so stupid. This was not your fault. I want to believe that. Jack, it wasn't your fault. At this point, I don't know how to tell him. Listen to me, Jack. You can do this. Besides, I cannot break the bro code with my bestie. I know. And the whole bestie thing is really annoying. I know. I know. <laughs> but I have your back too. You know, we may not be married anymore, but we're on the same team. Thank you, Walter. I'll tell him. 
But first, I have to get back to work and close out this file first. We'll tell them tonight. I'll be there. Jackie. Yes, Harrison. I don't know how to say this. What is it? About some of your files. Any files in particular? Keith dove right in and started with your files. Why? He felt it necessary to do an internal investigation into all of our main files in order to evaluate our needs. But my files are confidential. Does he have access to all my files? He has access to everything. Isn't that a little unorthodox, considering he's here to troubleshoot corporate structure? Not to mention, he's not an employee of the firm. Jackie, some discrepancies came up that raised red flags. What kind of discrepancies? The kind that I cannot explain away. Oh, good. We're all here. Have you explained to Ms. Nelson what we discovered? Not exactly. Few of your files have overstated numbers, Jackie. <laughs> uh, he's being kind. Overstated to the point where we're going to have to report you for a possible fraud. Harrison, you don't think that I could have you possibly... You could have made a few mistakes. A few honest mistakes. We all make mistakes. You are unbelievable. Once he reports his findings, an investigation into all of your accounts will follow. And then there's going to be an investigation into all of our accounts, if you're still active. Oh my God, are you firing me? No, no, no. I am temporarily suspending you while Keith and his team continues the audit. But I can help his team figure out where they made their mistakes. Does that seem appropriate, Jackie, huh? You helping to figure out what went wrong on your files? It's highly suspicious. I'm sorry, Jackie. It's against company policy to allow you to continue working while there's an investigation. I'm going to give you five minutes to get your things. Call security. How are we going to out? I don't think that'll be necessary. I'm sorry, Jackie. What's the matter, Jack? Everything you work for is slipping away because of a lie? How does it feel? I never lied. You raped me. We were having a good time. You didn't say no. Yes, I did. Well, you didn't mean it. You're sick. Tick tock. The guy that date raped me in high school walked up in my office today. You got anything stronger in there? I do. Now you're talking. I can't believe they can just suspend you like that without giving you an opportunity to defend yourself. You're dealing with taxes, the rules are much stricter. You've worked there for over 10 years. Yeah. Where's the freaking loyalty? No telling what numbers Keith fabricated to make this all happen. God, it's like I'm in high school all over again. Why so quiet, Nina? Nina? I'm literally hatching a plan in my head to kidnap that bastard and chop his junk off. <laughs> Sign me up. I'll do jail time for you, sister friend. <laughs> what about Marcus? He's in human resources. Maybe there are rules in place to help protect you in these kinds of situations. I haven't told Marcus. Oh, God. You never told him what happened? No, how do you bring up something like that? Hi, honey, how's your day? By the way, I was date raped in the 10th grade. Good talk. Not like that. He was the star of the football team. The whole school hated me when I reported him. They called me a liar. Sure. It's more important to win games than jail a sex offender. No one believed you? His coaches told me to drop it 
and accused me of trying to ruin someone's life for two kids having fun. Sons of bitches. One person believed me. Who? Walter. He and Keith were on the same football team. He just walked up to me one day and he said, I believe you. And that is why I will always, always be a fan of Walter Oat. Yay, Walter. We need more Walters in our life. Settle down, Nancy. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we do. This is so messed up. We probably all have a horror story. Or two, in my case. Absolutely. My first ball straight out of college was ugh, disgusting. Inappropriate and very handsy. In public, too. He didn't care. I always wanted to hug it out whenever I made a sell. And not one of those innocent work hugs, but one of those tight, awkward squeezes. Ugh. That's just awful. Those kinds of hugs are so creepy. So creepy. One day I got tired of it. He went in for a hug and I punched him in his face. Shocked both of us. <laughs> I ran out of there so fast before he could fire me. I never went back. I had a similar situation with my co-ed volleyball coach. He would tell all the girls on the team that we were just one of the guys and slap us on the butt when we passed him all the time. One day he got really bold and came into the locker room. Wow, not cool. Thankfully he was fired when some of the girls were brave enough to turn him in. I was always so ashamed because I wasn't brave enough to tell my parents what was going on the whole time. Dirty coaches are the worst. My old track coach is a dirty bum who took a liking to me. He finally one day cornered me in the locker room. What did you do? I kicked that old coot so hard in his crotch it made him see two of me. <laughs> nice. Stomped over his body on the floor and ran straight home and told my daddy. My daddy paid him a visit. Towed a shotgun. It's Alabama. It's what they do. Oh, Nancy. I so appreciate you. Really, all of you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, you probably would have a better functioning liver. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I guess it's time I start the ending to my story. You got this, girl. I hope you're right. Are you okay? Well, we may really get to see what it'd be like if I were a stay-at-home mom. No matter what, we'll be fine. I already told him everything, and we've come up with several plans to kidnap that jerk and make him disappear. You sound like Nina. Who's your biggest fan, by the way? I only wish you'd have told me this a long time ago. Are you mad? Mad as hell. At him, not you. You've done nothing wrong. We'll figure this out together. So, what's the plan? Well, tomorrow, you go and see your boss. I'm not allowed inside the building. See him outside the office. He's on your side, Jackie. Really? Once you tell him everything, all of this will go away. I'm scared. Here. I started this for you. It has the beginning and an end. Full of scary HR jargon. Literally intended to scare him to death. All you have to do is fill out the middle with your story. You really are a scary HR guy. Yes. Okay, and on that note, I'm gonna grab the kids and take them to my place so you can concentrate on this. Thank you, Walter. 
Hey. You got this. Yes. Got this. Here we go.